A structure responds dynamically in three forms displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Like a dynamic lot that varies its magnitude and direction over time, these responses are also a function of time. In previous videos, we have looked into the three components for a dynamic system, and we know each of them correlates with one type of response. Under equilibrium, the external force applied to the system equals to the sum of the resisting forces by all these components. During analysis, a structural system may be considered as a single degree of freedom SDOF system during early stage. A SDOF system simplifies the analysis procedure using only one displaceable mass component. One of the real-life examples for a SDOF system is a building equipped with base isolation system. The mass component is contributed by the entire building, while both stiffness and damping components are provided by the base isolators. Unlike SDOF, multi-degree of freedom MDOF system is more complicated. Like a multi-story building, the displacement of each degree of freedom is correlated to the adjacent one. In the world of structural dynamics, there are two forms of vibration, namely free and forced vibrations. Free vibration occurs without the exertion of external force, and it is the otherwise for the case of forced vibration. How do we make a structure vibrate without applying external force? Imagine a big invisible hand slowly pushing the structure until it achieves certain tip knot displacement. At this point, the displacement of structure is not equal to zero. Once that invisible hand is moving away, the structure moves back to its original position and starts to vibrate. When we take a snapshot of structural movement starting from the moment that hand is moving away, there will be no external force acting on the structure. Instead, we will have displacement or even velocity and acceleration at the beginning of the vibration. These responses are known as initial condition, and free vibration will not occur without it. During analysis, we always use the full equilibrium equation. However, in some cases, we may theoretically neglect the structural damping and simplifies our equilibrium equation. In this case, the structure is described as undamped system. Practically, an undamped system is non-existent. One of the reasons of assuming so is to determine the expression for natural frequency, where we will demonstrate in future video. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please share it with your friends. We will see you guys soon. Goodbye.